she also seeks counsel and the blessings of Vajpayee. Uh, that's something your book talks about. And Vajpayee tells her, former Prime Minister Vajpayee tells her, I would advise you not to become Prime Minister. You have all my blessings. Mera Ashirbad aapke saath hai. You have my Ashirbad in abundance. But don't take the prize. Don't take it because you will be dividing the country. You might even divide the bureaucracy. Tell us a little bit about this conversation. I found it fascinating that, that you know, today this kind of cross-party dialogue would not never happen. This conversation that takes place between Sonia and Bajpai, please, please tell us more about this. Yeah, you know, this is after she was elected leader of the uh, Congress Parliamentary Party that both of them spoke. And she asked for his ashirwad. You're right to to do that. You know, from your opponent is a big thing. Uh, but you must also remember when the parliament was attacked, she had called up Vajpayee to ensure that nothing had happened to him, and he was very touched by that. Uh, mm. So they had a they had a, a, a very cordial relationship, even though they were opponents. And uh, then Vajpayee told her this, what you have just said, that uh, you have my Ashirwad in abundance, but I would advise you not to take it up because it would divide the country and the, the civil services. And uh, again, for somebody who was about to become prime minister, for an opponent <laughs> to give that kind of an advice was also very unusual. But you but know what? But what flows from both of these stories, Nirja, is that Sonia Gandhi was ready to be prime minister. Now, we all remember that very dramatic abdication, all the Congress leaders begging her, no, ma'am, please, we need you, we want you. And she said, no, uh, I think she said, my inner voice will not allow it. You know, I'm paraphrasing here. But your book reveals that perhaps it was in the end her son's adamant refusal and his threat that he would take any drastic step needed to stop his mother that probably proved to be the decisive factor and short of Rahul Gandhi's opposition, perhaps Sonia Gandhi would have opted or had reconciled herself or even maybe wanted to be Prime Minister. I think my own assessment talking to many people is that she was set to become Prime Minister. And even before the election results, the other books have documented this. Ahmed Patel had reached out to VP Singh and others to you know, test the waters for her to become Prime Minister and seek their help. That apart, uh, I think her son, somewhere the mother in her, overpowered the politician in her. And yeah. had Rahul not done what he did, she might not have been party president for 20 years after that and yeah. accepted in the party and accepted in the country. To, today, she's the tallest leader in the Congress party. And it is because of that one sacrifice that the country saw that she gave up, gave up prime ministership. Few have done that, uh, that uh, made her so acceptable in the country. Otherwise, the BJP was attacking her for her foreign origins. But time. left le left to herself, you say that it's your understanding that she was set to become prime minister. Uh, yes. So therefore, a lot of people would now question that abdication story. Yes, I mean, she, uh, abdication because of sacrifice and all that. Look, she's a, she's a politician. She was all set to become the mandate for Vaswa. The UP had wanted her. In fact, VP Singh and Somna Chatterjee told me at that time, I, I remember this conversation, reinforcing what is in the book, saying that we wanted her. Everybody had agreed. What do we do if our children don't want it? Both VP Singh and Somna Chatterjee. This is a personal conversation with them. 